Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to Forest Street webinar of 2nd of September 2014. My name is Nenad Kerkes, and I will tell you uh, nice things about and good things about trading psychology, how to avoid spiral of doom. Before we begin our quick risk disclaimer, risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. Online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets as Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information in this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country residence, and contact an appropriate entity. Admiral Markets UK Lightity takes no responsibility for the information accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author. It's me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not MUK's opinions. The website in the video is not a .co.uk website, but the globaluse.com website. For a risky business, and this is a personal opinion only, and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. So today, we are going to have a nice webinar. As I said, it will be very useful to you, both to novice traders and advanced traders. A little bit about myself, as always, quick. Uh, I've been a full-time trader since 2008. My uh, personal thread on Forex Factory is called Spiders Then My nickname is Tarantula. Many other forums also, WWI, Investment Blogs, Admir, Admiral Markets, Head Lecture and Analyst. There is also me. I've been doing Admiral Markets webinar and main analysis for some two years. I am the creator of proprietary price action trading method Camarilla MACD. I always do prefect and real time analysis. I began writing for the Forex Street in June 2014, and all of my results, of course, are transformed for full Forex education. Uh, Tripod of successful trading, beginner's luck, spiral of doom, and success will be the main thesis we are going to talk today. So as always, psychology webinars needs to start with tripod of successful trading. For all of you who are new to this and who basically do not know what successful uh, trading is and what tripod is, the thing is that all successful trading is based on profitable strategy, risk management, and psychology. Those are three legs, three legs from tripod. If one leg falls, everything will crumble. So that is the tripod. You need to know about profitable strategy, about proper risk management, and proper psychology. Beginner's luck. That is the thing which happens to us always and which was happening to us when we started to trade. The thing is that many successful traders face with initial stroke of luck. That is perfectly normal because it has its roots in the universe. But the thing is, it's, it's not just about the universe and beginner's luck. It's because traders, novice traders, just do not use stop losses and they tra trade randomly. So they usually do random trades, which is not good. So... If you experience that in the beginning of your Forex trading career, the thing is that is usually called a beginner's string of luck. That is a string of lucky trades, which traders may misplace for a proper trading. So initially, if you've been making money with Forex trading and afterwards you lost uh, some money to Forex, the thing is uh, you probably think that you're doing the great job, but you didn't have luck. That is not correct. Because usually after one or two months, you will end up with margin call. That is always happening. And the real truth is that only 5%, that is the truth, 5% of Forex traders are successful. I don't, I, don't, I don't think about 5% each month. I'm talking about longer term success. So at least you need to be at least profitable six months in a row or six months positive, averagely, to be called a, a profitable trader. 
the thing is that beginner's luck, usually traders experience that in a couple of days. And because I have read uh, many of those psychology books and many other books, especially Paul Keller, Al Alchemist, the thing is he said great thing. Every search begins with beginner's luck. And every search ends with the victors being severally tested. The boy remembered an old proverb from his country. It said that the darkest hour of the night came just before the dawn. That is the big truth. And the thing is, all universe will, will unite in your beginner's luck, to give you that beginner's luck. But after that, it will fade, and you will end up only with thinking how to cover your losses. That is simple truth. So, the thing is, we need to distinguish hi a hierarchy of needs. And that is presented by a famous psychologist, Abraham Maslow. And uh, needs are something that we need to get into to, in order to become respectful and successful. Uh, the pyramid itself consists of five different layers. We will begin with psychological. That is the, the largest layer of the, this hierarchy. It's called bottom layer. And it, it deals with our psychological needs. That is breathing, eating, eating, sleeping, drinking, reproduction, homeostasis, and so on. So many of these are very instinctive and involuntary. And without them, the subject would die. So in order to proceed to the second layer, of this pyramid, we need to satisfy this first level, and so on. So in order to climb the pyramid, each level needs to be satisfied first. The second layer relates to safety and security, and its most basic form can be thought of as shelter and personal safety, but can also extend to financial security, employment, and the safety of the family. So that can be translated to Forex, that can be related directly to one of the interest's main warnings to Forex traders. Safety, guys. Remember that. Safety. Financial security and the provision of shelter reminds the trader not to risk all he has in trading. All Forex professionals regularly stress the importance of trading only with money you will not miss. And Maslow himself, through this hierarchy, will direct the trader towards ensuring financial security before the trader considers seeking to reach into the next level. So this is very important, this pyramid, these middle levels. So the middle level deals with the need to belong, friendship and family. Addish additionally, translated to forex terms, successful trader will find will find that they need the support of other professional experts and mentors to become comfortable because the part of because trading community is unforgivable. If you lose, some people may rejoice. If you win, some people may not be happy. And that is the truth. So it is at this point that damaging emotions can take you over, such as fear of loss or failure, greed for excessive profits or overinflated egos. These by themselves, or in combination with each other, have the power to destroy what could have been a promising trading career. So this level is of utmost importance if you want to climb to other levels. If you experience this level, you probably experience fear of loss, fear of failure, greed for excessive profits, overinflated egos. So they are very, very, very unforgettable emotions. And these emotions can kill your forest career and can kill your account. So if you manage to overcome this level, you will come to self-esteem. So that is the fourth level. Self-esteem is when we begin to come to the positive needs and emotions that trading can provide us. A rise in self-esteem will rise also and we'll, we'll, uh, we will grow up in our confidence because our skills will develop more. We will sense real achievements. So upper level is the utmost, utmost level. It's called self-actualization. And 
the, 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 the top of this pyramid is basically when you have master psychology, not just about trading, but your psychology which has its roots in yourself, in your ego, in your superego. So here at the top of the pyramid, you will be planning to ensure consistent profits and your trading skills will be fully developed. But remember, guys, until you fulfill all of this level, this level will not be reached. Now, let's see market cycle of emotions, which is very, very important for your career. Really, this is very important. I know that because I have experienced every single stage of this. So let's assume that you are a beginner in Forex trading. Usually, in the beginning, as we spoke, you will be faced with tough, really hard psychological testing. The thing is, when you start to do Forex trading career, you will be very euphoric. Euphoric is not good because, as you can see in market cycle of emotions, now think about this. This is support and this is resistance. When I do my uh, psychological webinars, I always use terms support and resistance because it's directly connected to trading. And this is everything in nature is support and resistance. Everything in nature is good and bad. Black and white, Fibonacci, everything in nature, 61.8. Now, this is support, this is resistance. Now, tell me, what do you think? Would you buy a currency pair when it's too high? Of course you wouldn't. Proper trading sell, tells us to sell into resistance and to buy into support. Now, if you start trading while you are euphoric, the thing is you will lose. That is the simple truth. And many Forex traders start their trading day while, while being euphoric. What can happen is one day, I don't say it will happen in five days, I don't say it will happen in one day, it will happen that you will start to lose. Not just because your trading system is not good, it's due to many psychological and market factors that will influence your trading day. So when you start to lose, you will experience a huge set of negative emotions which will lead to fear. Now. Look at this. This is support. This is support. This is ultimate support. And this is resistance. Fear can give you false hope. Fear can give you false panic. And the thing is, this is the point when you need to think about reviewing your psychological profile. Not your system. Your psychological profile. Because if you jump up from this point, you will again be optimistic in its sense. But you will not be euphoric because euphoria has already passed. Worst thing is to break this support and become sucked in into a spiral of doom. This is spiral of doom. Now, if we break this support, this support here will be sucked in. Now, again, again, guys, look at this. This is support. This is resistance. Now, don't think about uh, average guy. Don't think about average trader. Think of this as your trading profile. Think of this as your trading profile. Why? Because this, in this point, in this point, you are good. You are good. Your profile is good. Your psychological, emotional profile is great. If you start trading from this point, five, six, and seven, you will be trading of support, guys. <laughs> now, you, you probably know what support and resistance is. And in psychological sense, again, this is support, this is resistance. You never trade, you never buy into resistance. You always buy into support. Now, that means that you will be 
you should be optimistic, hopeful, and content at the start of your trading day. Because trading, trading day will bring you, when you start trading like this, even if you experience occasional loss, you will still be positive, you will still be full of enthusiasm. Now, if you start winning, you will be passionate, but you will eventually come to the, this resistance, joy. Knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation. When you experience this kind of emotions or this kind of emotion, guys, you take profit in trading sense. You basically leave your, you should leave your trading platform and you should go to attend other activities. Because you, when you, when you trade, you need to know when to enter. You need to know where to put your stop loss and you need to know where to exit. This is the same in this psychological guidance. This is guidance, emotional guidance. So buying of this level means that you will start trading here. Your entry should be placed when you are feeling optimistic, hopeful, or content. You should take profit when passion overcomes you. Think about that. And ultimately, when you are full of love for Forex trading, you should leave for that day. Because what can happen is you can become euphoric, guys. And then you can start to lose. Now, this is dangerous. What happens when support is broken? So this is support. This is, okay, this is also support. Because from this point, seven, there is eight points. So this is support. The same line is here and there. Now, when support level breaks in, that is called breakout. You will become emotionally broken. First of all, you will be bored. Then you will be pessimistic. This is your stop loss. If you start trading and taking entries when you're optimistic, hopeful, or content, your stop loss should be here. Because it's still easy to get back to upward spiral. It will still be easy to you to get back in the proper tracks of trading. If you don't get back, what can happen is you will be sucked in into this spiral of doom. And this is when it becomes dangerous. Now think again about trading terms. What happens when uh, stop loss is taken out? Usually, when stop is taken out, it will hunt other stops. Because traders, when they are trading of the support level, usually place their stops a little bit, a little bit below there. When stops are collected, you can quickly come to this level. You know that when usually when, let's imagine, Euro 3200 is broken, usually what will happen is immediately price will drop to 3190, 3185. And that is the same with your emotions, guys. That is completely the same thing. You will be sucked in and it will be very hard for you to recover. Uh, uh, Mr. Rigoberto is saying, everybody have these feelings or just happen to us that are starting and never feel sure about choose about support and this one. Uh, if I understand you correctly, Mr. Rigoberto, the thing is, everyone will have these feelings. And you need to know, you need to know yourself. This is you. This is your psychological profile. This is my psychological profile. This is everyone's psychological profile because we are humans. We are human beings, but we need to master the emotions. If we don't master the emotions, emotions will overcome us and we will break through this support once in our lifetime trading career. And what happens when we come to this point? Goodbye, Forex. So don't be sucked in into this spiral of doom. Now, when you start optimistic, you, you're still, you see, you're buying of this support. You're very close to this support. 
So you're okay. So when you start optimistic content, it means that you have already accepted a potential loss. Okay? So if you start trading from this point, that means that you have already accepted a potential loss. Starting optimistic hopeful or content means that you already know about your system or method quite well and you are ready to ride the roller coaster with increased chance of success. The thing is, because if you get a string of lucky trades, you will you will be testing this resistance, passion and this resistance. But you will not be testing euphoria still. Because first, be, be, before you become euphoric, you need to test this top of this upward spiral. Now, again, I'm saying, because I, I see that some new people have joined. When you come to this point, probably your, the price will be still too high and the price will be high, you will experience joy, knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation. That is the time to take profit. When you take profit, you will immediately drop in your emotional scale to this point, positive expectation belief. So you're still, you're still ready to go into the market. If you trade immediately after you have closed your trade and take another trade, that, that won't be good because you're trading of these levels and this is close to this resistance here. Now, you need to wait for retracement. Guys, now, just pay attention to this, what I'm saying. When you do trend trades, you always wait for retracement. You always wait for retracement. You probably know how I trade. You probably know that I always wait for retracement. That is the same in your psychological profile. You should wait for retracement. So if you close your trade here, you will drop to this level, positive expectation belief. In, at, that, at this point, what will happen is you can open another trade. And I, I didn't express myself correctly. You could, you could be sucked in into opening another trade because you are very enthusiastic as you already made nice profits. But don't do that. Wait for retracement. That means that your emotional scale needs to retrace to 5, 6, and 0.7 in order to properly trade. Again, think about this as the price. Support, resistance. This is the same level here, and this is your stop loss. If you have not mastered your system, and you don't have a successful tripod to base your trading at, you will lose. When you start to win, try to be less euphoric because uh, being euphoric about winning will lead you also to closing your positions too early. So ultimate advice is to be at this point, not euphoric. So at this point, it's safe to close. What will happen if, you, if this support breaks? Usually, if you don't do proper money management and uh, you don't know how to trade, and I will always tell you, no matter what your style of trading is, and I don't care if you, really I don't care if you didn't have successful trading career or not, I'm here to help you, you need to use stop loss. Forget about uh, stop loss cards, forget about those things those are things of the past if you use proper, proper brokerage. If you trade without stop loss, it's only the matter of time before you will be sucked in into spiral of doom. And believe me, guys, when you break this level, you will so quickly drop to this discouragement, anger, and revenge. You will not be conscious what happened to you. You just... You... you, you you wouldn't be knowing what hit you. It's much easier to come from this support to this support here than from this point to this point. Think about it. It's, it's very easy to trade from this point than to recover from, from this point. 
Why? Because this will compound your losses. Revenge trades will compound your losses. Discouragement, anger, fear, hatred. This is the worst emotion, hatred. Rage. Again, this will lead to revenge. Anger will lead to revenge. Jealousy will lead to revenge. Then your revenge will quickly come to this point, insecurity, guilt, unworthiness. Now, this is trend. This is trend. Zigzag. I think about the trend. This is trend. And this is not a good trend. It's okay if you're riding short-term trend and short market if you are trading the price. But if you are, now I need to say, trading your emotions, this is bad trend trade. Because drop from revenge to insecurity and worthness is, it, it can happen in a matter of seconds. This is the ultimate loss. Grief, depression, powerlessness, victim of the market. I have heard many times from some even experienced traders that uh, they have become victims of the market. There is, needless to say, there is, uh, I cannot say there is an improper word, but that is bad word for for forex trader uh, for, for professional forex trader you cannot become the victim of the market if you invent it if you if you know what to do if you know how to use your method system psychological profile and balance between that you will be successful don't forget these three points spiral of doom will always will always suck you in at the point nine break of this level will come will lead your emotions to pessimistic and then in a matter of seconds in a matter of minutes or maybe hours you will come to this point revenge trades this depression here will hurt and can hurt your loved ones your family now this is the truth but this is the truth which maybe some of you i hope that you don't know about this truth but uh, you know many, many traders know about it trying to exit spiral of doom is and can be very painful and very often it's impossible it cannot be passed this x support which now acts as resistance is hard to break from this point to this point is it needs time it needs to recover because humans are very adaptable beings and it will it will pass through it will it will end in a matter maybe of months but the thing is you will lose many precious days of trading because you didn't listen to people who know about things, these things, and who have experienced most of these things, at least in the Forex, as Forex beginners. It's much easier to go from point five, six, and 7 to this point. It can be either, even in a matter of minutes, it's much easier to climb this than it's, e than it's possible to climb from point 22 or 18 to point 10. It's almost impossible. It will take a lot of, lot of recovery and recuperation for th those kind of emotions to become positive again. This is positive scale. This is negative scale. This is support, this is resistance. This is support, and this is ultimate support. Swing from this support to this resistance is impenetrable, usually. 
one of big reasons for dropping into spiral doom is greed. And I know that many traders are uh, or have become very greedy and because of that they are just not sure what to do and what to think about forex market. Greed is a selfish and excessive desire for more of something as money, let's say, than it's needed. That is the definition of greed. Why did I say that you should take your profit here at this point? First of all, if you if you base your trading buying of this support and closing it close to resistance, you do proper trading, proper trend trading. Then you will you will surely avoid being euphoric. Because from this point to euphoric point is a thin line, but still this point needs to be broken for you to become euphoric. Now, that will kill your greed. Taking profit here and letting your emotions retrace to this level will kill your greed. So you will kill this negative emotion. You will save, you will save your account from doom and from the spiral of doom. We become very optimistic about trades. When we enter a trade and it moves in our favor, it is easy to get carried away and hope we can hope and expect it to move farther and farther, creating bigger and bigger profit. That will create fog on our perception and we will be blind to real market conditions, guys. We will become blind to real market conditions. Winning trades are quickly turned to losing trades. Greed and fear are very strong and can have an impact even on most experienced traders. Believe me, this is very, this is the truth. Even experienced traders can suffer from these negative emotions. Symptoms are this, holding onto position for too long, over leveraging, chasing the markets, revenge trading, and taking trades without any fundamental or technical validity. Guys, what did you learn so far? What did you learn? Greed symptoms are the same as symptoms when you are sucked into a downward spiral. Now, think about this. This is positive upward spiral. And this is one dimension, the, the positive one, dimension for itself. This is negative spiral, and this is the same dimension, but the thing is, this support needs to be broken for this down spiral to start. Now, negative emotions are usually stronger than positive emotions. Because of that, this can be copied into this particular dimension. Being successful or too successful in Forex market can copy this into this. So greed, greed can become to develop at this point. Now, trading positively can also be reflected as greedy trading. To avoid this greedy trading, again, you need to know when it's enough. When you are contentful, I mean joyful, and you're empowered with your trading, when, you are, when, when you're so happy about that trade, okay, leave it. Because greed will get you euphoric, and you will drop very fast to this point here. Now, what about if market is not going into your favor? Believe me, it, it will immediately, you will immediately come from this point to this point. Because price will probably hit your stop loss and you will make for revenge trading because you were euphoric and because you were greedy. So, 
one thing to remember also is that positive emotions, training on a positive emotional scale, can be dangerous if you're greedy. Because if you're greedy, if you're greedy, this negative downward spiral will be copied to positive upward spiral and your positive expectations could be soon turned to be negative. So, again, that is why training is also dangerous. Not because you don't know when to enter, you don't know where to exit, you don't know about trading generally. It's about our human nature. It's about who we are. So we need to master ourselves. Mastering one psychological profile can be painful. But if you listen carefully, and if you've been listening carefully to what I've been saying today, you will... You will learn about yourself and you will know what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Way to success, guys. Way to proper trading success. You you need to know and you need to have a proper skill assessment. Skill assessment means learn your system, strategy, or method. Don't jump from one to another searching for a holy grail. Holy grail lies within yourself. Holy grail is you. Holy grail is your proper emotional guidance scale. That is your holy grail. Prepare yourself mentally. Learn to lose. Would you believe me if I told you that I trade every 10,000 let's say dollars, for example, with 0.3 lots. That means trading $20,000 with 0.6, average stop loss, 30 pips. $30,000, 0.9. Why is that so? Because first of all, I don't let myself be sucked into this downward spiral. I always start with this point. Not content, not hopeful, because I trade full time. So I, I, it's hard for me to be hopeful, to be honest, because I'm optimistic mostly. So this is usually, I have done my psychological profile, and this is where I start to trade, being optimistic. From this point, usually when my trades are uh, positive, I use trailing stop. So I'm usually stopped at this point, at this point, trailing stop. Camarilla make these based on trailing stops. This is not happening to me. Because if I lose three consecutive trades in a row, I may come to this point, but I will never come to be bored and pessimistic. Because I only lo- I only lost one percent, three consecutive losses, one percent, three stop losses for thirty pips. If it happens, well, okay, I can recover from this because again I will be buying my emotional price from the support. I wouldn't be buying it from this point. I will be buying it from this. So, again, optimistic. So, psychological preparation is very important. You need to assess yourself. You need to, to be, uh, you need to learn to lose. But trading one full lot on $10,000 account with an average stop loss, stop loss of 30 pips is 3% in a single trade. Three consecutive stop loss hits, stop loss hits is 9%, even more because you're paying uh, a commission. So you will lose more than 9% in a single day. Now, what will happen? You will probably be discouraged. 
you will be worried because you lost 10% in a single day. Why is that happening? Because when you start to trade, you need to learn that basing your initial lot size is equal to your set risk level. You need to trade stress-free. Trading is always based on your stop loss, not about how much you are eager to gain. Forget about those kind of things. I don't know if someone said that before to you, but I can say that is very, very incorrect. Trading is always based according to your stop loss, and that is according to your risk level. Your risk level should be low because you need to protect your profits. And you need to be realistic. Again, I will re remind you. If banks give you 3% per year, why wouldn't you be happy with 3% per month? Read through the calendar. Fundamental analysis is the thing which can save you occasionally from time to time. Fundamental analysis will keep your account safe and will probably give you a feeling for the market price action before, during, and after the news. Keep the track records. You need to know and you need to, you need to uh, know when you uh, made a losing trade, when you made a positive trade, and why did you exit? Always access your emotional guidance. First, you need to analyze the market. If you're a beginner, try to follow a professional and take some advices. It doesn't mean that you blindly take those trades, but you just follow a professional and well-accepted uh, trader to take some advices. Make a trading plan, which will contain checklist. Trades which are planned in advance work the best. If you did the market analysis, you will be, as I said, optimistic, hopeful, or content. So that means that you plan your trades in advance. Be patient. Wait for retracement. If you close your trade here, your psychological scale will be here. Wait for retracement of this emotional scale. Wait for the retracement to this point. If you're too tired, don't trade that particular day. Start content or optimistic. Start content or optimistic. Learn about present market conditions. Learn not about the past. Past is important if you if you watch it as let's say technical analysis. When I do my technical analysis, I always follow near term and historical buyers and sellers. That is okay. But if you want to trade at current market conditions, you need to learn about present market conditions. The plan will cut your losses, that's for sure. The plan will help prevent emotions, but not just that forex trading plan. It's about your emotional plan. You need to make emotional plan based on this what we talked, what we we have been talking today emotional plan you need to guide yourself to these stages not about it's not just about the system it's about guiding yourself through emotional scale the, the plan will set your goals and it will make you look professional that is the simple truth guys that, that is the simple truth now, the thing is, this is the last of my slides. And if you have any questions, now is the time for you to ask me.
novice traders try to be greedy when it comes to the profits and scared when it comes to losses. That is very negative. That is this. So novice traders are much close to this, especially if they start to trade without, they will lose. Believe me, it's it's much harder to bring point three to point eight than is from point seven to point three. Okay. Uh, have a plan. Don't risk more than three percent in a day. I usually advise risking two percent per day. That can mean ten trades or three trades. First of all, try to satisfy three levels of the pyramid, which I was talking about today. Fourth and fifth will come, guys, believe me, in due time. Forex is a fast-paced marathon, and you are long-distance runners. Okay? So Forex is a fast-paced marathon, but you need to be a long-distance runner because you want to trade as long as you can. Forex trading psychology is the line balancing need versus greed. This is the line of balancing in between need and greed. Guiding yourself through these emotional scales. Trying to be on a positive scale. Understand the market. Reduce your lot size. Set a stop loss. And be realistic. Don't trade $1,000 account with one full lot. If you do that, you will start trading from this point. You will be worried. worried, Because usually when you enter, the price can get into a little bit draw of a drawdown. Then it, it may go in your direction. But believe me, if you start trading $1,000 account with one full lot, you will be wor worried because you are not using proper leverage. Be realistic. 3% per month. Great. Do it consistently. You will protect your profits. You will protect protect your account. But, and you will still be re earning money. No one can tell you and no one should tell you that you are not successful if you can make 3%. 3% per month. This is what I have for you guys. Quick questions. Forex Boyki, where can I get your recording of your previous webinar? Mr. Boyki, I'm not sure. Try to ask Forex Street. They should, yeah, how to avoid trading mistakes. I told them, I sent uh, some emails and told them to upload the webinar. And I can see that this webinar has not been uploaded yet. So try to contact Forex3 support and ask them where is the recording and when will it be recorded. Okay? So they are recording. I'm not recording this webinar. I'm only recording Admiral Markets webinar. Okay? I, I'm not recording Forex3 webinars. Do you have trading course? Yes, I have trading course. It's, of course, based on Camarilla MACD. And uh, guys, uh, if you want to contact me, you can write me an email. My email is tarantula at tarantulafx at gmail.com. So for forest courses, of course, that is another thing. Uh, great question. Looking for a recording of your previous webinar and this one as well. As I say, uh, I do, do not, I'm not recording these webinars. Forex Street stuff, administrative stuff, is recording the webinar. So uh, it's not up to me. I hope that they will record and upload the webinar. Yeah, this one is being recorded. That, that is great. Can I have the link to your course, uh, please, guys? Uh, I will tell you, but do not use this for... I don't use this for self-promotion. Write me to my email and I will tell you. I need to be professional, so I won't be using... Forex Street for my self-promotion. I don't know how other uh, mentors, edu educational traders do that, but I won't be using that. So please write me on my email 
yes, this is my email and I will respond you uh, by email. Okay? So, uh, this is my email, of course, I, I will give you. Please use this email to ask me anything about this kind of stuff. So, beside this, I am always, and I will always be, uh, be <laughs> interested to teach you. And this is also one of my classes which I do when I do psychological webinars. This is very important for, for uh, all of you guys, all of you. So, uh, again, I'm saying many of those things we, which I teach on my Camarilla MACD, I also teach here, and I will be teaching here on Forex3. But, of course, Camarilla MACD is not a free method, and because of that, it needs to be paid, okay? Uh, let me see another questions, okay? Uh, okay, looking for a recording. This one is recording. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Guys, I don't see any questions. So we can assume that the webinar can be, we can call it a day. Please, this is important. This is the thing which I actively teach during the course of Camarilla MACD. These things, if you don't take it, if you don't take it seriously, I'm 100% sure that you will lose. And forget about trading system more. Forget about those trading methods. Because trading system is only one step to being successful. Believe me, guys, this is more important than having a great system. Yes, it's good because you can find an entry, you can know about stop losses, you know where to exit. But the thing is, if you're trading a successful method, price action, whatever, you still can suffer from greed. So having an assessment, an assessment, for your psychological profile is a proper way to go. Time has run out, guys. I think I okay, I can see we still have we still have a couple of minutes. Yeah, okay. It's time to go. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Thank you, Forex Street. Thank you, everyone. And guys, okay, this is the link. It will be recorded. Uh be sure to sign up for more webinars because I'm sure they will be useful for you. Thank you for attending. Thank you for every question. And I will be talking to you soon. Cheers and have many green pips.